Well, we're going to do a video today. We don't give the mini much love, but we, we need to do more mini stuff. We are going to do the grill change on the mini. Now, this should be the same for all the early minis where the headlights lift up with the bonnet. Um, this is a Cooper S convertible, but um, the grill should be the same. So we've got this grill, and it looks like the John Cooper Works grill. But someone bought one of these the other day because he had a John Cooper Works, and it was damaged. But this grill doesn't fit the John Cooper works. He was so convinced that it looked like one that he bought one. But yeah, if you read carefully the description, it won't fit the John Cooper works. So it's to make the, the normal one look like the John Cooper works one. Right, so let's have a look. So as you'll know, this is the, the headlights. That's what I mean by the headlights go up. The later ones, the headlights stay here. Right, so we've got two grills, upper grill, lower grill. Now I wish we go, as I've got this in my hand, we'll do the lower grill. So, if we look at the lower grill, it's just got a series of these little tabs, and they've got a little ramp on them. So I think it's just going to be a question of ramming it out. Um, I guess some of these tabs might break on the old one, and that one's going to pop in. So let's see how this goes. Right then. So let's have a look. It's slightly recessed. We can't get in from the top. Let's have a go at getting in from the side. Oh, there you go. Question where that first clip is, I guess. Uh, yeah, that's all working along, he's coming. We got one. Right then. Um, so is it this, just this lower trim that by the looks like? Okay, so that's the lower trim. That's how to remove the lower trim. All right, so after removing that chrome trim, um, this other bit that looks like it's part of the bumper, there's actually another bit that clips out here. Okay, so let me just work this along. There's a bit of double-sided tape you can see in there. So it's got a bit of tape on it as well. Right, so there we go. So that's the two bits we've taken out there. And hopefully then the new one, the tabs will line up and replace that with a one piece one. So uh, probably I'd recommend normally cleaning it, but for the video, now we'll stop the video and we'll give that a clean. So we've given that a clean. So now this one should clip in. It's probably as well getting the the middle one lined up first. Uh, let's just have a little look. Be in your way. There you go. That drops in, and then push that in with the number plate. Yeah, it's not good, is it? It's popping in. Right, so we've given this a clean and we're gonna fit the new grill. Now, what we've noticed on our car is that this end clip here, where you go to clip it in, hasn't got much retaining force. It, it pops back out quite easily. Uh, and we wondered if that was, was this grill, but actually it looks like that once you've taken this, this the original one, also doesn't have any hold on it um, as you can see there that's arguably worse um, so it looks like once these have um, been used once once you pop them out they don't grip the same so what you may have to do is add a little whether you're refitting the original grill or fitting an aftermarket grill we've got a little bit of double-sided tape and we just tried this and this seems to work reasonably well and we're just going to put that over that clip just to give it a some stick and also a bit more thickness so we're just gonna do that like like so and obviously once it's in that or the sponginess of that double-sided tape will, will help so let me do the other side as well now the other tabs when we just try fitting it now the other tabs seem okay i don't want to go too high on that no so you can see there, I've got it 
wrap around. Yeah, as I say, it's not really an issue with this grill. It's more the BMW bumpers don't seem to take too kindly to. All right, let's get that front one, that middle one lined up there, which should help us. All right, and there, uh, I give that Anna. Okay, come over to this. All right, and there. Uh, up a bit. Up a bit. Maybe a little bit, that's it, yeah. And there we go, that's the bottom grill fitted. So, this top grill is a little more tricky. It's held on with these kind of rubbish as one we got here. It's going with these rubbish, they're sort of half a nut and half a... Um, in fact, these, these are both snapped, are they? Yeah. Yeah, and they've got... And they, they, they're sort of like a flat steel. Now, there's various... They're supposed to look like that sort of thing. Now, there is some debate as to whether they unscrew or screw on or whether they just um, push on. But let, let's have a look. So... So I've tried, I've tried putting a socket on it. One guy seems to suggest if you get a little screwdriver up under the base of them, it's probably quite hard to see. But we've, we've got this little snake head tool there. Can you see that here? Yeah. And what I'm going to try and do, the best way I've found, but again, is, is just getting that behind there. And I've found with the electric drill, you get a bit more speed. I don't know if you go the right way. I think you make a lot of difference. Oh, okay. right, and then what I've done, rather than trying to leave it, I just forced the whole lot down. There you go. And that, is, is it, I might have snapped it. I even. think you sent the washer flying. The washer, but I have but. got, I have got the little washer. There is the little nut. So I think as it spins around, it heats up. I think that's the best way we found of doing it. Um, so we'll get on and do the rest of those. But and you've got the grill. you've got a row of them all along the bottom, and then the the same ones go uh, around the edge. But we can't get to them. We've got to take this trim off out of the way, have we, to get to them? So we'll do the bottom ones, and then we'll show you got what you got to do to get to the top ones. So we don't have to take anything off. Um, they're up, they are exposed up underneath there. Um, you've got enough light under there, and I'm going to give you a little flash. Uh, just hidden up in that groove in there. Now what we're reckoning is it's difficult to get our little forked tool in behind it so we've come up with a bit of plan that's just worked what we're going to try and do is lift lift the grill up so i'm just going to put that little lever in underneath it just so that we're we're lifting it up a little bit and at the same time as lifting it it's about here i it's think about there isn't it? as long as i got it somewhere close i don't want to scratch the paintwork but... all right and then oh, let's get on it and have a look where is it There you go, and that seems to do the trick. In fact, I think it's easier just using your hand just to lift it up. And as long as you keep the force on it, let's try the, the other one, excuse me. Right, and there, where's the last one? There we go. So I'm not sure how many of those broke, but they are, suffice to say, really quite difficult to get out. Um, if you were to reuse this, I think it would be tricky because some of the tops have come off those. But if anyone's come up with a better way, I haven't seen it on YouTube. <laughs> um, so there we go. Right, so let's get on again. We'll clean up the front there and then we'll, and then we'll come and clean that up. And then we'll, we, the challenge is gonna be working out how to fit those clips because you've got to like squeeze them on and hold it. I think they push back on better than they come off, to be right. honest. So we'll have a look at that, but we'll clean all this up. Hopefully they do anyway. Right, so with the grill in position um, and it all clipped in, you've now got to work out how to get this. So you need to grab one flat washer and one of these. Now, they're sort of rolled in on that face and you need to push that in because that roll helps line it up. And what I've got is I've got a six millimeter socket that pushes on the inside face there. Because what I'm going to draw is push on the inside face. So let me get around the other side of the camera. So let me see if I can. So wait for that little pin comes through. Now I managed to get that other one on just by 
just with my thumbs, just enough to hold it there. And then I can get the six mil socket through and give it a, a push right up onto it. So there we go, can you see that? So there you go, you just gotta do that and you just gotta give it a good push, but using the socket there gives you the room for the pin to go inside but still push on the washer. So I think that's the trick. We'll finish that off, then we'll close the bonnet and have a look. So, a couple of extra things. These clips are a paint. Um, they are as BMW designed it. Now, what we might do is we might upgrade the kit we sell um, to either have some flange nuts, which are like this. Now, this is an M6 flange nut, and if you're just fitting your grill at home, this might be a little cheat you can use. And instead of um, those rubbish clips, you can actually, I won't do it now, you can actually spin an M6 flange nut onto the plastic you have bit. to be a bit careful not to strip it or anything. You kind of you need a flange nut so that you can push it at the yeah, same time as turning. Yeah, you have to turning. push it onto, and then if you push and turn, it will sort of engage on the clip. Um, so that's one thing, and we might even try and get some better versions of this clip because there are some different quality ones out there. But there it is, right? Let's, if anyone else has got a better way of doing it or a better fixing, let us know. Put it in the comments below. But there you go. There's the. John Cooper Works style front grille conversion for the early BMW Mini.